I huh? got one going right here. Hi, I'm giving you a call about your home on East Street. Am I too late? Hey, I've been getting a lot of scams about it, though. Well, it's, uh, I'm always concerned about that because I run into a lot of scams. This is not a scam, correct? Not at all. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm I'm calling about your home. I'm looking at it on Zillow. We'd like to make a purchase today, if possible. Are you are you living in the home now, or are you renting it? No, it's vacant. Okay. Has it been vacant for a while? Is there something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. I have to call another house. Okay. Good. Good. We had shot you a text yesterday. We were working with some families in the area, and we'd like to offer you the full asking price of ninety-five thousand. Is that still what you're asking? What if we were in a position to offer you the the ninety five thousand and lease it for twenty four months at say fifteen hundred and then cash you out at the ninety five thousand? Would that be something that would work for you? Yes. Yeah, so why are you asking to lease it for a year and then buy it? So what my company does is I work with families that are solvent; they can handle the the expenses. But they've either you know either had a divorce or they have a, a business that's less than two years and. They can't get a conventional loan at this time, but they need a home for them and their family. So we help them get in the homes and then they invest with us so they secure it so there's no fee to you. And they'll maintain the home and cash you out at the 95000 after 24 to 36 months. Okay. They're usually pretty proficient on that because they're making an investment with us. So they don't want to lose that money and they're willing to put that money in your pocket each month. You know, that 1500 on top of the 95 that they purchase it for. Well, with me renting it, if something was to break, who's fixing that? Yeah, know. they're responsible for all the maintenance of the house. And so there's no landowner responsibilities for you. That's in the contract. We take care of all the closing costs at the time. All right, and I have something email over with explaining all the requirements and everything. Oh, absolutely. That's what we do. So uh, I'd send you an agreement with the terms are 95000 would be your selling price. <laughs> we'll give you 1500 a month for 36 months. And now after 36 months, it is 95. You're not taking off the 1500 a month from that. No, all we ask is that you take care of the uh, taxes and the insurance out of that fifteen hundred, and then the rest of that goes in your pockets. A mortgage still on it. Okay, what's your mortgage on the home? Six hundred. Okay, so that's six hundred there, and does that include your taxes and insurance? Okay, so that would leave nine hundred dollars in your pocket, and so at nine hundred a month, and we do that for thirty six months. That's almost thirty six thousand dollars in your pocket beyond the asking price. And then you turn around and buy it for $95,000. they will cash you out and they'll get the conventional loan. And where are you from? I live in Indianapolis. My name is Ed Klasky and my company's Ed Buys Houses Indiana. Yeah, but my house is in Louisiana. Oh, yeah. I've got people down there. We, we buy houses down there all the time. So if this is something that's agreeable to you, we could move forward and then I'd have someone come and inspect the house within 14 days. And then if everything's good there, we can move forward and get someone in there, hopefully by August 1st. I would like email over to me so I can make sure it's good and clear, not a scam. And absolutely. My lawyer. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, feel free to look at my website. I'm edbuyshousesindiana.com and you can Google me. There might even be a pretty picture of me somewhere along the way. Hopefully I've lost weight since then. Okay, thank you. So what's your first name? Do you have my email? I'm, I'm going to take that from you now, please. Yeah, I'll get that sent off and then I look forward to working with you. And I'll follow up with you in the morning. Is around 11 o'clock good for you? Yes, yeah, that's fine. Excellent. Thanks, Devin. Look forward to working with you. Bye-bye. Good job there, Ed. Good job, Coach Ed. Banging it out.